Hello and welcome to my review of the XSTAR VC2 Plus Master. This is the newer version of the two slot charger that XSTAR have brought out. I've laid everything out on the desk here and you'll see the packaging is white. This is the 10 year anniversary edition that they've been bringing out the company but the contents will be the same as the other box color. Now moving in closer on the front you'll see some of the functions including a countdown timer, different methods of charging, dead battery activation and independent channels and on the side you'll see the variety of batteries that this can take. I don't have the D cells or 32650s to test but I do have the other cells and this side just tells you a bit more about the timer function and the USB output. On the back section we have the features and also some of the specifications listed out so you can pause that and have a look if you wish. We do have channel charging at one amp maximum per channel which is something that not all of the two slot chargers can do and you have the scratch off panel um, for verification on a separate card, it's not on the charger. Cable supplied is a proprietary barrel type connector, it's just uh, over a metre in length but it's quite thick. I personally would have gone with micro USB but that's my own opinion and looking at the manual I got a Chinese one for some reason so I downloaded the English version and I've just put it up on the screen for you so you can pause and read through that if you wish to. It's quite a simple charger to operate but it does give you an idea of some of the functions that are available with it. Now taking a closer look at the front of the charger you'll see this has a protection coating on the top panel and a single button in the middle the two bays here, they have metal rails, quite smooth, they're already pre-greased up from the factory and the case quality feels very good just as it does with previous XSTAR chargers I've looked at. On the top section we have the input for the connector and the USB port for the output. This will just give you an idea of the terminals at the top and then reversing it around you can see the terminals on the slider rails. On the underside of the charger, this just lists out the spec of the power output and the types of batteries that you can use. On the left slot, you'll see that it's marked with USB output slots. So if you're using the power bank function with a battery, you need to use that particular slot. It'll only work with the first one. I'll just insert a battery here to show you and the display comes up. We'll have a look at that in more detail later on. Didn't have too many problems with inserting batteries. The AAAs can be a little bit fiddly, but better than most um, chargers that I've used. And you can also fit obviously AAs and up to the larger capacity cells and longer cells. Pretty good fit on these and the springs have good tension so they won't fall out accidentally. You also get an included travel bag with it. It has a bit of a lining inside to protect the finish and it slots in there quite nicely. You can tie that up at the top and put the cable in there too. Make sure you don't lose the cable though because of the barrel connector. It's um, not something you can replace easily, you can get them online. Now for using this I had to use a couple of good chargers. One of them is a smart one on the left and the other one on the right it has a fast charge port which is marked in red at the bottom. So you will need a good USB output if you want to get the maximum charging speed from this. When you plug it in you'll see the display light up here. Each channel has its own display and you, I'll show you in more detail the timer function as well. Inserting the battery here and you'll see the red LED change at the bottom there and it gives you a percentage as well as an estimation of the time remaining for the charge. You'll also see the one amp marked here when I press that quickly it changes to half an amp and if you hold it down it will disable the backlight. The, you can still see the LCD under there just about. In lower light possibly not, you need to turn that on but that's a power saving function. It dims after a short period of time. With two cells inserted you'll see that you can still change the charging rate but they both change at the same time. You can't change them individually on this particular charger. What I'm doing here is just connecting it up to my USB tester just to see what the draw is and I've set it to one amp. You can change the charging rate whilst batteries are inserted, it doesn't make any difference and you can see here it's increasing. It will depend on the charge condition of the battery but you can get up to one amp per channel. Now looking on the left hand side you'll see there's an estimation of the time remaining um, and that indicator can be hit or miss at the start of charging. It can be a little bit inaccurate. It seems to take about 20 minutes, half an hour to become more accurate. 
and when you've got the display here you can see the green LEDs have come on to indicate that the charge is completed and I'm moving closer here so it doesn't make any difference if you have the LCD display on the backlight you can still see what's going on there. I'm just going to test the lithium cell here to see what it's come off the charger at and it's 4.2 which is pretty much bang on what we're looking for that's the highest charge rate I want to see I test this to make sure that it's not overcharging or undercharging cells and I always make sure that I do it when I'm right next to the charger and it's just completed the charge and on this particular 18650 we've 4.17 4.18 so again that's in the good range for a lithium ion battery You'll also see the indicator come up telling you whether it's a nickel metal hydride or a lithium cell. If you insert the wrong way around, you get an error message. So it's pretty much fail safe in that regard. Now the timer indicator, you can see it here. I've got 0% and it reckons three hours 29. So you're just gonna to have to give that a bit of time. It works on a voltage increase. There's no other way of measuring the capacity of the battery, you can't do that. It's just seeing how quickly the voltage is rising and estimating how long it's going to take. The disadvantage with that is at the early stages, it doesn't have any idea what type of battery that you have inserted, as in it doesn't know how big it is capacity wise. And you can see I have a AAA on the right hand side and that's a small capacity battery. So obviously that's not gonna take six hours 59 minutes to charge so the early stages of the timer indicator isn't going to be particularly accurate about 25 minutes half an hour later we can see we get a much better indication of the approximate charge time particularly with the AAA on the right hand side now when you're using this as a usb power bank you'll see this indicator come up here and that's the five level indicator for the power state of the battery and that will gradually go down as it depletes. You can also turn it off and then connecting it up through the USB tester. Bear in mind you might get different rates for different devices. The highest speed I got from this from the USB power bank function is just under one amp which is pretty much in line with the specification. When the battery is depleted you'll see it flash here and it's indicating that there's no more power left in the cell for the use with the USB charging. Now if you have the USB output connected at the same time as the power source you will only be able to use half an amp charging for each port and likewise if you don't have a high enough power output on the USB port that you're using it will just default back to half an amp you won't be able to use the one amp charging unless you have a 2.1 amp or higher output port to use also has a soft start with the charging as you can see here we've only got a very low charge rate going into the cells and that carries on for about 10 minutes and then it increases back up to its normal charge rate one thing that i have noticed is on some of the timer settings you can see it's a bit strange on that particular one but sometimes it jumps around i'm now testing the nickel metal hydride cells 1.49 and 1.479 so the voltages straight out of the charge are good for the nickel metal hydride and the lithium ion batteries have no signs of over or under charging on this particular unit does a good job with both types of cell wrapping up with a summary and conclusion on the xstar vc2 plus master overall this is a good charger in terms of the performance i'll start with the areas that i think could be improved though i'm not a fan of the barrel style cable tip i think a micro usb as on the previous version or a type c would be a better choice just a more common cable even though it's good quality if you lose the cable you'll have to find an identical one to operate the charger the timer display isn't particularly accurate at the start, so you'll need to give that a good 15, 20 minutes, possibly even half an hour sometimes to get a more accurate reading of the approximate time it might take to charge the battery. And there's no voltage display, which I think should be included on this. The lithium cells are 3.7 volts only, so if you have the lithium iron phosphate, you'll need to look at another charger where you can adjust that accordingly. And I would have liked a power adapter included. This is a bit more expensive than the previous model, so I think that's something they should have put in, and you can't select the charging rate for each channel. On the plus side, it does accept a good range of cells in terms of size, and you have the faster one amp charging and the zero volt activation and I had no problems at all with the charging, no heat issues, no undercharging either. The USB port, you can also use it as a power bank or a pass through. So I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe as I'll be featuring more reviews of this type very shortly.